Alrighty guys, welcome back. So before we go on with more of our editing tools in Final Cut Pro, I wanted to clear up any confusion we might have in regards to smart collections and keyword collections. What are they, what's the difference, and when do we use each? Well, anytime you create a new library, and we did talk about this a couple of videos ago, uh, but I just wanna have a video just to distinguish it. Smart collections, by default, anytime you create a new library, smart collections and an event pops up. So let's go ahead and do new library. We'll just call this uh, dummy one. And I'm gonna delete it, and I don't care about it at all, just for the sake of the tutorial. Uh, dummy one, let's go ahead and close up our other library. Dummy one, so by default you get a smart collections folder, as well as an event, and by default it's just got the, the name of the event, is just today's date. What we have in our smart collections is one, two, three, four, five, and it's really whatever makes sense to you. Everyone's freaking out. When do I use a folder? When do I use an event? When do I use a project? These are really just here to help you organize and help you locate whatever you're looking for faster. Uh, so smart collections, you get it by default and it still is customizable. You could just write, you can click on it once, change the name of it. You could add more smart collections to it. Let's say we wanted to do like, I don't know, sound clips, sound bites or whatever, maybe we had sirens or crowds or applauses or something like that. And we can go ahead and take that media and throw it in there. We don't have it. Uh, keyword collections. This is kind of our own more customizable folder structure per se. So what I would do is like, I'm gonna close this up right now and close this dummy library. Keep in mind, Final Cut Pro is geared to having lots and lots of media in here. So say we had I don't know, you just shot all day. You went shooting for eight hours. You've got all this media. What I would do is I would create keyword collections to help better categorize all of this media I have. So what I would do is you can either right click a uh, new keyword collection or it's shift command K. I'm gonna do the keyword shortcut, shift command K. I'm gonna do this three times. And what I'm gonna do is I will call this me or selfies. I'm going to do another one. I'm going to create three. What I'm going to do is do shift command K and I'll do El Gato. That's actually how I record my video game footage for another YouTube channel. I have maybe you should check it out. Uh, and then I'll do one more and I'll call this arcade. I recently went to a video game bar arcade and it was awesome. So here it is. We just connected our camera, put it in an SD card, and we have all this stuff, but it's all just kind of a medley. I want to have all the arcade stuff in my arcade keyword collection. I want to have all my El Gato stuff, all the video game play in my keyword collection. I've got my selfie stuff up here. That's me doing a video for another one of my YouTube channels. This is my shitty backyard. Uh, and this is for the Village Park Source channel trailer I just did. So what I'm going to do, is I'm going to take these three. You could group them together. I could drag all these three. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put them in my selfie. So if I click on selfie, my keyword collection, they should all be there and they're sorted by date. For Elgato, I got nothing in there right now. I wanna take all. Now, maybe I don't wanna take all this stuff. A lot of this stuff kind of looks dead weight. This is Bioshock, it's a great game. Uh, it's a pretty cool clip. What I'll do is I'll take that, I'll drop that into Elgato, maybe I'll use that for a video, and I'll take my Castlevania, throw that in Elgato, and then for Arcade down here, whoa, let's go back to our event where all our media is. Uh, this is not an Arcade, this is a brewery. This is a bar in North Park of San Diego. Here's my Arcade. So I wanna got, I've got Street Fighter II, I've got Mortal Kombat. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these two, and I'm gonna put them in Arcade, and I'm gonna go ahead and take Sub-Zero, whooping Jax's ass, and put it in Arcade. Just like that. So we just created three keyword collections. It's really just a way to help you organize and locate your files faster. Keep in mind, there is no right or wrong. It's really just folder structure. Do whatever makes sense to you. In the next video, we're gonna talk about keyword shortcuts using these down here, so we don't have to do that drag and drop, and we can add a lot of media to our keyword collections really fast using keyboard shortcuts. Good luck with that and I'll see you guys over there.